Also a middle school teacher in trouble tonight for how he allegedly reacted to a prank kids have been playing for generations. Some call it ring and run, others uh, ding dong ditching, yeah. whatever. Regardless of what you call it, you've at least heard of somebody ringing a doorbell and trying to disappear before someone inside mm -hmm. opened the door. But in one Gibraltar neighborhood, that prank led to a 911 call and a middle school teacher charged with assault and battery. Local force Coco McAvoy joins us from the Dairy Queen where this all started. The kids were hanging out at the local Dairy Queen getting some ice cream when they decided they wanted to prank their teacher who lives just down the street. In fact, their teacher Stephen Falwell only lives a few houses down from the Dairy Queen. So when the kids got here, they decided to play a game of ding dong ditching and no one expected the outcome. This Gibraltar waterfront neighborhood is known for its peace and quiet. It's nice. Uh, people around here are generally very pleasant. Uh, I've, I've never had any problem. I've been living here 20 years. But residents are now hearing about a ding dong ditching prank in their neighborhood that didn't go over so well a few days ago. I'm sorry if somebody lost their cool and made a mistake. Police say a group of kids knocked on their teacher, Stephen Falwell's door, and ran away. They did it twice, and that second time, Falwell caught up with one of the 12-year-old boys and allegedly roughed him up a bit. It's not a lot goes on around here, so it definitely, like, spread. Lydia Westrick actually had Falwell as a teacher while she was a student at Shoemate Middle School several years ago. I guess just surprised. I mean, I went to school with him, so, I mean, he seemed like a nice teacher, like, wouldn't have thought something like that would have happened. Police won't specify how exactly the 12 year old boy was allegedly physically assaulted, but say the boy did not need medical attention afterwards. But the boy's teacher, Stephen Falwell, will be fighting his case in court, charged with assault and battery after a prank gone wrong. And we are waiting to see the police report in this case, but Falwell was released from jail on a personal bond. Back to you. So, Coco, is the school where he works, are they saying anything about this? Yes, so I reached out to the Gibraltar superintendent, and she tells me as soon as they heard about this, they ended up putting Falwell on paid administrative leave. All right, Coco.